Yo, YouTube comic book community, it is Mr. D, finally back with another haul video. It's been a hot second, I got a nice stack of books here, a couple first appearances, a couple graded books, and we're just going to jump right into what I've been buying lately. First up, we have Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is number 19, Peach Momoko. Nice virgin variant. Pick this up for cover price. Next up, we have He-Man, Masters of the Universe, number 18. Found this at Half Price Books for like a buck 25. It's kind of rough shape, uh, spine ticks and whatnot. So I want to flip this up on eBay because uh, this is actually my second copy. So I found another copy of this at my LCS. This is X-Men number four. This is the first appearance of Red Omega by Jim Lee. I think I have like four or five copies of this. This does have some water staining up here, uh, but I bought four books. Uh, and I paid just under 40 bucks, so uh, $10 a book at my LCS. I got some other books coming up, so I wasn't going to complain. I wasn't going to let that sit here. I always will pick up some Jim Lee. Next up, I bought this off of eBay. This is Champions number one. This is the Retail Incentive Mark Brooks. This one's hard to come by, a little pricey. This is the first time all these characters form the Champions team. Uh, a little bit of spec in this. Uh, shout out to the Mighty Mel V and its Drunken Chat son. Uh, they mentioned this book, and so I've been kind of watching and scooped up a copy of this. Be sending this off to CGC. Next up, uh, this is a big boy book that was on my wish list, and this is Morbius, the Living Vampire, issue number three, The Corker. When I say this is a one in 50 variant, this book is hard to come across. It's in really nice shape. It does have a minor spine ding, uh, color breaking near this blood area. Uh, I obviously I can't press that out, but I will be sending this into CGC as well. My predictions, 9.6, maybe a 9.4, but I'm leaning more towards a 9.6. So very happy to add this variant to my collection. Then I also picked this up off of eBay. I uh, got this for a decent price. Uh, wasn't, uh, you know, what most of the listings were selling for. So I didn't pay top dollar for it, but this didn't come exactly cheap either. This is Dr. Afra number six, the Jen Bartel. I love the colors on this. Uh, Jen Bartel, I got kind of a, a love-hate relationship with her, and this is one of the covers I happen to love. Uh, very happy to pick this up. Uh, another book that will be getting processed and sent off to CGC. Then from Unknown Comics, I'm not the biggest Unknown Comics fan, uh, more of a critic of theirs to be real honest, but I saw this David Nakayami uh, and I had to pick this up. I got this for about 20 bucks. There is a version of this. I actually like the trade dress on this because I like how the white kind of just pops out. Uh, Would have been nice to have the version as well, but I didn't get the set, uh, so I will be happy with this. This is a, what is it, Strange Academy number six unknown comics so beautiful scarlet witch all red cover very nice very nice then from Zenoscope, i picked up their 2021 holiday collection this is their valentines this is limited to 250 copies i got two copies of this one i'm keeping for the pc and one i am uh i actually currently have listed on eBay. So this is by Elias. I can never say this guy's last name. Uh, Ch Chazudez is uh, how I think it's said. Uh, probably butchered it, but whatever. Nice little cheeky uh, Robin Hood. So we will see. I think I think every month they're doing a holiday one. Uh, so I didn't like the January one. I like this February one. I saw the March one. I may or may not pick it up. I don't know. Um, but... 250 copies that's limited to. Then let's see, we have Amazing Spider-Man number 53. I don't remember uh, who the artist is, uh, but this is the 1 in 10 uh, game variant. This was hot when this first came out. Gorgeous Miles Morales cover. This Mylar glare is ridiculous, especially with the new LED light I put in. Uh, but beautiful, beautiful cover. This copy right here is probably about a 9694. I have noted a little issue on the back cover, but I do have another copy, which is 9694, apparently another issue with the back. 
And then I have a third copy. And this is my 9.8 copy. Uh, so I will be sending this into CGC, this copy. So three copies of the 1 in 10. Beautiful Miles Morales. Um, yep. So here's that one that's going into the CGC pile. That's part of the reason I wanted to get this video done because I got a, a box from CGC right there. I have another one that just shipped and I have a list of books that I want to submit. Um, so I want to get these out the door and shipped off. Next up, this is a hard book to come by. This is Vampirella 21, Lucio Perello. I know number 19 is the one that everyone goes after. I do have number 19 in a graded 9.8, plus I have another raw copy with some spine dings. Uh, so I found this. This is another one of the books I found at my OCS, so I paid 10 bucks for this. This is a super rare one. I think this might even be harder to come across than 19. Beautiful copy. R.A. pressed it. CGC. Another one I got from the LCS for 10 bucks, and this is X-Men 205, First Appearance of Hope Summers. I really have been looking for the J. Scott Campbell variant. Could not come across it. Don't want to pay eBay prices. It's one of those books I'm just going to be patient with. Uh, I'll find it eventually, but I saw this, snagged it up. Of course, a little spec play. It's my second copy of this, so I'm glad to add another copy to the PC in case anything ever happens with that character. This was an eBay buy. Um, rumor has it Kevin Feige brought up uh, an Asian American hero or a Korean uh, hero might be making the MCU. So I picked this up before prices started going up real quick. Um, this is War of Realms, New Agents of Atlas, number one. Obviously, it's the first appearance of a whole bunch of people. I think it's like Swordmaster, Luna Snow, um, some chick that's got like ocean power she's like the female name or uh can't think of her name uh but a bunch of first appearances in this uh so another little speculation uh pick this up off the bay real quick so next up we have group number three this is the manga super log variant uh just really thought that this was kind of a cool looking cover uh, so I snagged this up from the LCS for I think like eight bucks or something like that or four bucks. Um, just a PC book. They actually do make a sculpture of this drawing, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, so I might hunt that down possibly. Uh, so super log group number three variant. Cool little PC grab. And I should have put this right after the other one, but here's another copy of uh, New Agents of Atlas. Uh, this is the second print, Yi Hung Lee, right? Is this In Ugly or Yi Hung Lee? I think this is Yi Hung Lee. But if I'm wrong and this is In Hug Lee, I always get the two mixed up because uh, they look kind of the same, uh, similar art style. Uh, so yeah, this is the second print uh, variant. Uh, very happy to get this. Uh, again, I snagged this before the rumor, you know, that Kevin Feige uh, tweeted out or said. Uh, so this will be going to CGC. Uh, shout out to Timothy, the Canadian comic hunter, because uh, he posted on his Instagram about this book, uh, and then it went bananas when it came out. And this is Star Wars, The High Republic, uh, number one. This is the Stephanie Hans. Uh, because of his Instagram post, uh, I did pre-order this, so I did get a copy for cover. Happy about that. And then I also got a second copy. Uh, which I got from the LCS and I paid 10 bucks for. So two copies of the Stephanie Hans, and this has the first apparent, uh, what, two first appearances in this. Uh, so I believe I got one in Mylar and one regular bag. So I think the Mylar one is going into the PC, and I think the regular bag one is the copy that I'm sending to CGC. Um, I'm going to have to look at those. I'm not 100% sure what I did there. Slide off. Okay. Next up, next up, what do we got here? Oh, uh, this is Champions Outlawed number one. This was the Walmart uh, pack uh, variant. Uh, I think this got a little bit of buzz for a while. Some pe you know people were talking about it. Uh, so went to my Walmart 
LCS and snagged up a copy. Uh, very happy, very nice copy. Uh, just another beautiful Miles Morales cover. So I'll be adding this to the PC. And then from Stadium Comics, they have this kind of variant set, I think, that they're doing. I don't know how many of these they're going to do. Um, but this is Betty and Veronica, the Winterfest special. This is the pop art variant uh, from Stadium Comics, and it's limited to only 250 copies. Uh, I'm a big sucker for, like, pop art. This is just a very simplistic, simple cover. Really liking it. The all red. Uh, just like that Scarlet Witch. I have something with red covers. Or whatever. I'm a, a big Veronica fan, too. So, snag this up. And then I also pre-ordered the Betty one, which is like the spring break uh, pop art variant. And it's got Betty, and it's like a hot pink uh, cover. And then I think she's got like a volleyball or something. So I pre-ordered that. That's limited to 250 copies, too. And I think it comes out maybe end of this month or maybe early in April. I don't remember, but happy to staying this up for the PC. I was debating sending this into CGC, but to be real honest, I don't... I'm kind of very conscientious about like how books look in cgc slabs and the fact that it's got the blue label with this all red cover um, i don't know i don't think it'd really look good in a cgc slab so i think i might just leave this in a in a top loader and just rock it out as is so next up um i already had a copy of this but my copy was really beat up uh, and I actually i already sold it on ebay um and my friend from work picked this up for me because uh, he found a really good deal on it, and he picked himself up uh, a set of these as well. And this is obviously Akira number one. Everyone knows about this. This is a big upgrade. It's definitely not a mint copy, um, but it's definitely a VF copy. So it's a huge upgrade for me. Um, so that's why I sold the one that I had, and you know, I sold it on eBay since I was upgrading here. So very happy to add it, Akira, re-add it to my collection in a nice uh, upgraded condition. Then these just came in the mail today. Uh, these I got from Comic Elite. This is stake number one. This is the J, uh, J Ferguson uh, Virgin variant. And I want to say that these were like limited to 500 copies. I picked up two of them right away. Uh, I just, I'm not 100% sure what stake number one is about, but based on the cover, I'm assuming that it has something to do with vampires. Uh, so, again, Comics Elite, they partnered up with someone else on this cover, too. I want to say it's like a UK, a UK comic store. Uh, so, again, Jay Ferguson, 500 copies. Uh, two copies. I may send, may send them both off to CGC. May just send one off uh, and keep the other in a top loader. Not really sure, but just a beautiful, beautiful cover. It has that uh, underworld uh, kind of look if you guys are familiar with the underworld uh, covers so couldn't say no to that how many books have i got in the cgc pile one two three four five six seven eight screw it i'll send both those stakes to it next up is harley quinn number 75 uh, and oh man um what was the name of the star i got this from it was a store, a comic book store in Minnesota was selling these. Uh, and they also offered a Margot Robbie signature opportunity with these. I want to say this was limited to like 500 copies. Um, but don't quote me on that. So the company was offering these books and then you could get a signature but it was like $400 or something ridiculously outlandish for her signature. So I didn't pop for that. I did get two copies of this. Uh, my other copy that I have is actually in the CGC box that is on the way to my house. I'm guessing I'll probably get it Monday. It's uh, just hit Tampa today, according to the tracking. So second copy, um, I wanted the original. This was originally done on Harley Quinn number one, like the, um, the Spanish uh la mole convention i want to say uh variant uh, so i was very happy that this was basically redone on harley 75 didn't want to miss out this time so very happy to add this just minus the 400 dollars for a fucking signature 
Um, next up, we have Punchline number one, and this one was done by Frank Cho, and this was done for Comics Elite, and this was a little controversial. Uh, I didn't really see a big issue with it, but apparently it had some controversy to it because it pictures Joker uh, in the, you know, the whole Jesus theme there. Uh, so, saw that, picked the set of this up. Um, I do have the regular Frank Cho variant and the other, I think the other one is like purple background with the trade dress. I do have that listed on eBay right now. Just going to keep the virgin for myself. I'm a big fan of Frank Cho when he does this black and white. Uh, <clears throat> black and white drawings he always has such incredible line work uh, that he does so I saw this heard about the controversy hey, is it going to go anywhere no just happy to add this book to the PC really like the colors popping on it too so cool Frank Joe cover Frank Joe's a super cool guy too I've met him at C2E2 so next up uh, is a little cheesecake because that's what I do, and that's what I collect, uh, is Naughty and Nice. This is their Halloween special. This is uh, limited to 125 copies. This is issue 112, or number 112 of 125. And this is also by Elias, uh, the, God, why can I never say his name right? Uh, Ch Chad Zudez, Chad Zudez, Elias Chad Zudez. So, just an awesome uh, Wilma. Mm-hmm. So, debating on sending this to CGC. I might. But it's naughty and nice. I mean, those, those books never... I mean, unless you really collect this series or you collect cheesecake co covers like this. Don't know. I might. We'll put it in the, we'll put it in the CGC maybe pile. So... This next book is definitely going to CGC because this was on my wish list. And this book is a beast to hunt down. I, it was limited to only 77 copies. And that is Lady Death, uh, Nightmare Symphony, Art Germ. Uh, this was one of the legend uh, artists for Lady Death. I know Mark Brooks has done, done the legend, uh, Mike Mayhew, Adam Hughes. <coughs> um, so... <clears throat> COVID. Um, really happy to add this book to my collection. I really want the color one as well, uh, but again, these books are not cheap and they're really hard. They don't pop up on eBay very often. Uh, so I was very happy to see this and I was able to snag up the black and white. This book is definitely going to CGC. So that is all of my raw books I've picked up. Let's get into some great books. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I got seven graded books here uh, that I picked up. So first up is Uncanny X-Men 224, our first appearance of Jubilee in a 9-6. Snagged this up for like, I want to say it was like just under 70 bucks. So I want to say like 65 bucks or something I found this. Uh, so, again, speculation. We all know the mutants are coming to the MCU. Uh, will Jubilee be featured? I'm sure at some point. Uh, she was in the X-Men, like, Fox movies, but eh, whatever. No one cares about that. So, pick this up just to have. I do have, I want to say either three or four raw copies, uh, but none of my copies are worthy to be graded. I mean, if maybe my best copy would be, like, maybe an 8 maybe maybe a 9-0 at best. Um, so I wanted to get a, a decent graded one. Um, don't know if these come in newsstands. I'm assuming that they do. I'd like to pick up a newsstand, but again, for like 65 bucks, like I said, I know it was under 70, uh, so I picked it up. I wasn't going to let it sit there. <clears throat> Next, uh, a guy that I know. Actually, I don't want to say that I know him. He's not really like a friend or that I know him, but he's a local comic book guy that does uh, online stuff, uh, online like Facebook sales. Uh, I've gotten to know him. Um, I have a Facebook page, Wisconsin Comic Book Collectors. Uh, that's got a couple, you know, we just got like over 100 members. It's kind of a local thing. Um, when I first got my comic book press, I 
you know, posted that I got it and asked people for, for advice. Uh, he actually messaged me and helped me out immensely with learning, you know, temperatures, amount of pressure, this and that. So he really helped me with uh, kind of helping me evolve my pressing techniques. Uh, so, like I said, I, I don't want to say that I know him, but I kind of know him, whatever. So uh, he had a he had a sale on Facebook, uh, a live sale, and I picked up Wonder Woman 614. Uh, this is what Alex Gardner. Uh, Alex Gardner variant uh, got this in a 9.4, but the price that I got this for was uh, was pretty good. Is under uh, what Go Collect says it should sell for. So I was happy to add this book that I've been kind of sort of wanting. And then right away, I also picked up this Wonder Woman 609, another Alex Gardner, and this one came in a 9.8. So he sold both of these to me combined as a package. Uh, pretty good price for these two, so happy to add these to the PC. Um, 9.4 isn't normally what I'll go for. I tried to go for 9.6 or better, but you know, it is what it is. Now that I got a CGC membership, I have a couple books that, uh, you know, might end up being a little lower, so I gotta diversify. I don't remember if I showed this book off or not. I might have shut it off in my last haul, I'm not 100% sure. But this is Mercy Number no. 1, the Art Germ variant. I bought this from Marka and Dofa's store uh, because it came with a uh, Art Germ and a Marka Allen Dofa signature. Uh, I was really excited to get this because the double signature. But the pictures on her website showed the signatures being like right here and right here in silver uh, paint marker or Sharpie. Uh, so I was really disappointed when I got my copy, and you can barely even see the damn signatures right here because they're in black, and I don't know. To be real honest, this thing got postponed because of COVID, and it took forever to get this. Um, I was really disappointed when I opened it up, uh, and it's, I'm not going to knock Mark on Dolfa's website or anything like that, but uh, just really disappointed it didn't come with the, the silver Sharpie signatures right there, and it took so long, and mm, whatever. Um, so I guess my excitement turned into a, a, a fizzle on this book. Um, so can I say I'm happy I have it? I mean, I guess if it gets optioned for a show, like I'll be happy that I got it, but this might go up on eBay, but there's no buzz around it, so I'm not going to get my money back out of it so it's kind of one of those like yeah shit now I'm kind of stuck with this so that's my uh level of excitement on that this book I am excited about though because I'm a big fan of Colette Turner um she hasn't done a whole lot of covers uh but I did meet her because she had a zombie tramp cover that I had of hers and I got it autographed when I was down in C2E2, and she was probably one of the nicest and most talkative artists I was able to talk to. Uh, so I went and started following her on Instagram, and I love her artwork. Her Copic markers and uh, color pencil game is second to none. Uh, getting a freaking commission from her is next to impossible, though, because um, she's got such a long commission list. But I, one of these days, and she knows, I, I've messaged her enough, so she knows that I'm definitely on the hunt for that. Um, but she came out with a cover for, who is this, Devil Dog Comics. Uh, this is Red Sonia number 20. Uh, so this is a cover that she did. But I scooped this up because it had a remark and a signature opportunity. And that remark that she did it is super, super good. I'm so happy with the remark that she did on this book, and it's got the signature right next to it on the leg. So, absolutely killer remark. And of course, graded 9.8, very, very happy. I've been really a fan of these signature remark graded opportunities. Uh, I got that Strange Academy with Peach Momoko, I got this one from Colette Turner. I pre-ordered Silk Number no. 1 with a Yi Hung Lee uh, signature and remark graded. And then I pre-ordered two of those Demon Day or X-Men Demon Days number no. 1 with uh, Rose uh, Bash. Bash? Um, I ordered two of those. 
and those are going to both be uh, signed and remarked graded. So um, that's kind of been my jam lately. Anytime that there's an artist that I'm into that's offering a signature and remark and a grading, um, they're usually about a buck twenty-five to a buck seventy-five. To me, um, that's kind of worth it because they come in, you get a good book, you get signed, you get a remark, and you get it graded for a buck seventy-five. Let's just say on the high end. To me, I think that's a pretty decent value. Uh, when you combine everything, assuming that a signature is 20 bucks, a remark could be, let's just say, it's 50, uh, grading's going to nick you 30. So, I mean, it, when it's all done and said, um, and it, you don't have to do any of the work, you just order it and it comes to you, um, usually I'm, I'm good with that. Um, especially with COVID, I mean, who knows about conventions? And then when you're there, you got to deal with going to get a CGC person to, you know, to get the yellow label and then, ugh, I don't know, it just seems like a lot of bullshit and work. So if I can just buy it straight up, I'm very happy. Uh, on to this X and Furnace number one, J. Scott Campbell, beautiful 9H. Picked this up from my buddy that slangs comic books out in Franklin. I uh, got this for a really good price. And this is a book that was kind of sort of on my list. I wasn't hot and heavy for it, but uh, it was one of those books that if I ever found and got a good deal on, I would buy um, kind of on my list thing. Uh, so very happy to get this beautiful J. Scott Campbell. And then the last book that I'm going to show is um, Capital JB. Uh, I know he's a YouTuber. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys are familiar with him. Uh, follow him on Instagram, too. Uh, he's got an eBay store. He's selling off a bunch of his books. Uh, and let's just get right to it. X23, number one, Delato, beautiful 9.6. So, big shout out to Capital JB Comics. Uh, snagged this up. I think I saw it maybe on his Instagram. Uh, his Instagram post that he had posted this on his eBay store. Uh, and I went in and bid on it. And lo and behold, uh, I ended up winning this. And, I mean, don't get me wrong. This this wasn't cheap. Uh, but I think I got a pretty decent deal on it, too, all things considering. I, th I think there's probably still room on this book, too. Especially when she gets reintroduced to the MCU. Uh, so couldn't be happier. This was a big one. This one and that Lady Death. I mean, these were both monster books to get off my uh, wish list. And then you throw in that uh, Dr. Afra and that Morbius. Um, I'm very happy with what I've picked up lately. So big shout out to the homie Capital JB. I don't think he's done any YouTube videos lately, though. So... Um, like I said, I do have da, 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 I do have some books coming back. Turn around already. Hmm. Okay, so it's not going to turn around for me. So got those CGC books. I will uh I'll do another haul vid or I'll do another unboxing where I do those CGC books. Don't know why my camera won't turn around. Uh, so I'll do a video on those CGC books. I was going to do it in this video, but I'll make you guys watch a second video. Um, so yeah, you got that to look forward to. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys uh, soon. See ya.